Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host Lokinder Kumar and today I'm going to start a series, a video series on polymerase chain reaction. We'll discuss the basics of polymerase chain reaction. We'll discuss what are the mechanisms or the functions associated with the components of polymerase chain reactions. We will discuss all the steps. Slowly, slowly, I'll try, I'll try to cover all the details of polymerase chain reaction. I hope that this video series is going to help you to understand PCR better. So as you can see on the slide that I have discussed some of the basic components in this video, we will cover all the details, basic details of the polymerase chain reaction. And then slowly, slowly, we will move on to the advanced stages of the polymerase chain reaction. I hope that this video series is going to help you to understand PCR better. So without any delay, let's start the video. So the topic for today is the polymerase chain reaction. So as you can see here, I'm writing down the polymerase chain reaction, which is also known as PCR. So that's the topic. As you can see here, it is made up of three different words, polymerase chain reaction. So you have, uh, basically they are two words, right? Chain reaction is if you consider it a one word. So you can say polymerase is the uh, enzyme whenever you say uh, is word that indicates the enzyme and then you have uh, the chain reaction going on in that particular uh, technique. So what is PCR? In short, it is also known as PCR. So what is PCR? PCR is basically a biochemical reaction. And, and what is the significance of this reaction is to basically selectively amplify the DNA region. So two important points, they are discussed here that one is it is biochemical reaction and second one it is selective amplification of the DNA region. Biochemical means there are biological molecules, chemical molecules that are associated. Second is the selective amplification means a specific region of the DNA molecule will be amplified using polymerase chain reaction. So if I show you this schematically, so consider this as a DNA molecule and then you have various uh, nucleotides in there, uh, the bases are there, so they are bound together with the hydrogen bond. So, suppose I want to amplify a small region in this DNA molecule and that region I'm trying to highlight in the dotted line. So maybe I'm interested in only this region and I want to amplify. Chemically it is really really hard to amplify this particular region but biochemically it is possible using enzymes such as polymerase and using PCR, you can amplify this region in in a very, very short time with a simple technique. And that technique is the PCR. With the PCR, the amplification of this particular region is possible. Now, there is one condition for this. You can't just select the region and amplify it. The condition that is very, very important in case of PCR is you need to know the border sequence. So let, let me write it down. The border sequence should be known. When you know the border sequence, then only you can amplify the region. There is no requirement of knowing the full sequence. You just want to know 15 to maybe not even 15, maybe from 5 to 15 nucleotide sequence of side 1 and side 2. So as you can see here, you have side 1 and then other side is the side 2 of the DNA molecule. If I'm considered just a single stranded DNA molecule. So if the sequence is known, you can design the primers. They're also known as adapter sequences. And using that, polymerase can amplify the region where in between. Uh, the region which is present in between of these two side sequences. So definitely you need a primer. And those known sequences are the region where primer is going to bind. So that is one of the important condition. In green color, I'm trying to show you the primer. So see, this is how a primer is going to bind to side A. And for the side 2, primer will not bind to that particular sequence. It will bind to the second sequence. Because we know that DNA is double strand molecule. So it will bind to the other uh, half of its DNA molecule. So basically DNA is made up of two single strands and the second adapter will bind to the second strand. I'll show you in, uh, in uh, maybe in my you know, later, later section of this particular video. 
So let's start by understanding the primer hybridization, where I can show you how primer is going to bind. So what are primers? Primers, uh, as I've already told you, that they are short oligonucleotide sequence, and they are designed specifically to the regions where uh, are, which are the border sequences, and you want to amplify the region between these uh, two adapter molecules. Now suppose this is your double-stranded DNA molecule. Now it, it will be convenient this time for me to show you how primer is going to bind. Now, as you can see, based on the you know carbon, you can uh, name these uh, strands as three prime to five prime and five prime to three, three prime. And when you do the denaturation, denaturation is the first step because if you want primer to bind to the DNA sequence, you need to separate them. And using heat, you can do this. 94 degrees, the standard temperature at which these uh, DNA strands, they are going to separate and then if the adapter sequences are there, they're going to bind when you decrease the temperature. So this is important at this. The next stage, you're going to lower down the temperature and then the primer sequences, which are highlighted in the yellow color here, will bind to one sequence and then the primer will run into the opposite direction. So suppose if you're uh, your DNA sequence is running from 3 to 5, then the primer is going to run from 5 to 3, right? So it will run from 5 to 3 and then from to, for, from 5 to 3 from uh, to the other DNA sequence. So this is how the binding is going to happen and then one strand and the other strand will be amplified at the same time. So after they are separated, this step is the annealing step where primer is going to bind and the next step is where the region is going to amplify. The amplifying of that particular region will be done by polymerase. So this is what I'm calling it as the region to be amplified means this is the region which will be amplified, not the region which is away from that particular uh, end sequence where primers uh, they are going to bind. Now what are primers? They are short and oligonucleotide sequence to the border sequences and then they are also known as primers. As I've told you already, they're going to bind to the sequence or the border sequence that is that is known to us. So we will basically need to synthesize these primers. And using those synthetic oligonucleotides, we will perform the PCR. So this is one of the you know initial, I would say, introduction of the PCR. There are various things, there are various components that are involved in the application of the PCR uh, or amplification of the DNA, not the PCR. The whole reaction is known as PCR. Uh, sorry about that. So for PCR, what you need is the DNA template. So that that is the important thing. You need to understand that you need a DNA molecule, you need to know the border sequence, and then you need to design the primers. And we have also discussed the hybridization, primer hybridization. So I hope with this information, you at least know a little bit about the polymerase chain reaction and why we are doing it, what are the different components. And I'll bring more videos where I'm going to expand all, all these stages. I'm going to expand the cycle. I'm going to I'm going to again explain ex, explain you uh, the components and the different stages of PCR and also the application. So it, it will be a... Uh, you know important i would say important video series on polymerase chain reaction and pcr is as you know is one of the one of the important technique right now it is uh, it is you know well known that no this is especially in the field of biology you know, molecular biology uh, will be devoid of this particular technique this technique will be there so this is this is one of the fundamental molecular biology technique and we'll, we'll study this technique in more detailed uh, manner. So I hope that you know this video was helpful and uh, the other videos that I'm going to make will also be helpful for your study and understanding of the PCR chain reaction. In short, PCR. All right. So I'll meet you in my next video where we will study the next stages of uh, polymerase chain reaction. And I'll try to cover more details uh, in those videos. And if you have any questions, please post your questions in the comments section and if you like the video please do share the videos and please do subscribe to the channel thank you